Hi, this is Mario Silveira. How are you guys? Uh, this is the tree. I, uh, three to four years ago, I was sitting at a table here. There is a nice bench over there, bank over there. And uh, uh, I would say that the fruit that I called the existential quantum fell upon my mind. Uh, today I was reading this book here. Uh, let me show to you. It is, uh, uh, okay, What's Life? Um, uh, Erwin Schrodinger. Everybody knows that this guy wrote some beautiful things about uh, uh, bringing together uh, mind and matter. Um, so it was a, a very beautiful. I like it very much. I read it already twice as uh, Steven Zweiberg's uh, Dreams of a Final Theory. Anyway, I'm going to read it for you. It's, uh, uh, and then I'm uh, just uh, 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 try to read uh, uh, Dr. Ed Witten. Uh, <clears throat> the second point is that the observer is never entirely replaced by instruments. For if he were, he could obviously obtain no knowledge whatsoever. So, uh, here in this book, uh, uh, when I was reading this, I was really recording it. I have a, a very uh, uh, small uh, recorder that I use for that. Uh, it came into my mind uh, uh, a sudden uh, explanation for something that I wrote about uh, the boson of uh, quantum gravity field, the graviton, and uh, using the ultimate, the strong principle of equivalence from Spinoza, uh, where I put together like Einstein had put before acceleration and gravitation, the existentiality of the boson and uh, uh, its action, if they are equivalent. And I said that if they are equivalent, uh, that was profoundly connected with the consciousness in this uh, sense. Uh, uh, and, and this I understood after here on page 162 I read uh, the, this thing about uh, uh, the knowledge that uh, uh, could not be obtained if we take out the observer uh, as an instrument itself of uh, uh, measurement. Mm. Uh, before before I, I I, I finished this, and I, and I explain why I said that the existentiality of the boson was uh, uh, equivalent of its action, and this existentiality is given by our focus, our mind into it. The thing is this, um, uh, and that uh, it is the reason why I took, uh, I was uh, audacious eno enough to bring it to this forum here about uh, Dr. Ed Witten quantum gravity, gravitational uh, uh, studies. <coughs> uh, excuse me for a moment. I have to focus my mind on it, into it. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, I'm sure that uh, I should uh, listen from Dr. Witten uh, 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 his conception about his mathematical conceptions about gravitational quantum gravitational uh, ideas, but uh, I'm uh, very much conscious that it's much easier for uh, him to apprehend my ideas than for me to apprehend his. And on top of that, uh, I know it's, uh, I would like very much to understand what you are saying. But, uh, which I think uh, I wouldn't anyway, uh, but uh, two things. I realized by the high pitch of your voice, Dr. Witten, how important that is for you in, in this video, the six videos about uh, uh, gravitational field. Uh, and, uh, and the boss and, and uh, I don't know, this monster group. So, uh, <coughs> 
Um, so, by the high pitch of your voice, I know to how uh, psychologically important it is. Uh, but the sound is so, so bad, so poor that uh, it's very difficult to focus into those videos. Anyway, I'm going to finish it. The reason why this existentiality is equivalent to the action, and this is, has, has got to do with uh, uh, the focusing of our minds into it, is this. Uh, <clears throat> we are talking of the most fundamental particle, the graviton. So, for the, for the photon or any other boson, this is not true, but for the graviton is. And what is the result of it, guys? What's the, the outcome of this? First, to have the, uh, the strong principle of equivalence that brings us this idea of the connection with the mind and, uh, and, uh, and quantum gravity theory. The thing is this. Uh, the experiments, the LHC experiments, Pratton Collision. If, if what I'm saying is correct, you won't find any trace of a graviton anywhere. Because the only trace of a graviton is there on our minds. That's for one. So, but what about supersymmetry? If that's correct, if you don't find the boson, the graviton there, then supersymmetry appears in the universe as the diversity in the species. And supersymmetry won't be found, won't be found in the, in the, in, in, in the materialistic uh, approach of uh, string theory we have to turn into another aspect as uh, Brian Green father suggests. Thank you very much and I love you Dr. Eddie Wheaton and I'm sure I'm gonna hear for, uh, I'm gonna hear from you soon or later. Thank you. Bye bye now.